Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and I'm going to give you a tip that will save a little bit of uh, money, a little bit of the environment, a little bit of your health. All right, so i got my chainsaw here. I'm about to cut some more trees down, and uh, uh, I need to put some bar lube in there. Now, bar lube drips out of the chainsaw onto the gear, and it rides in this chain, in this bar, right, and lubricates it. Now, it's what they call a total loss system. If you've got it adjusted correctly, you'll use the entire oil filler reservoir worth of oil about every tank of gas. Because what happens is it drips down and it slings off, okay? Um, now, if you don't have bar oil on here, you're gonna burn your blade up, burn your bar up, uh, tear up your chainsaw, right? So it's pretty important. But because this thing slings off and because you use a, a reservoir about every gas uh, tank, you end up with a lot of oil out in the environment, right? Not only that, but you're breathing in microscopic oil particles and that's not good for you. As a matter of fact, uh, last time I was out here with the wife, she was 15 feet away from me. I turned the chainsaw blade sort of to her, sprayed her a little bit, she was not happy, okay? And so, you know, get any kind of bar and chain oil that works real good. But what also works is canola oil, right? Um, just vegetable oil. It does just about as good a job, right? Um, pretty close. There was a guy on one of the forestry forums who calculated it up. He said in the life of his chainsaw, running canola oil cost him one extra bar and one extra chain. Now you're talking over, you know, several years, so that's not bad. But it also is a little better for you. Not that breathing in microscopic particles of oil um, is good for you, but it's better for you than the, uh, you know, synthetic or the uh, petroleum-based products. And it's also a little better for the environment. Um, so that's really all you do. You just fill the reservoir up, and then you uh, put your fuel in and use it normally. Now, this is only for the bar. It's not for the gas oil mixture. You still want to use a regular gas oil mixture. I hope that's useful to you. Thank you very much.